Well, I've, I've got a question uh, that appeared on our app today, and uh, I want to talk to you about it because I, I think it's something that we need to do some careful thinking about. Here we, here we go. The questioner says, I have fallen out of love with my spouse. Everyone, everyone tells me it's God's plan to stay with my spouse but focus on God to fill the void. I can't bring myself to holistically believe that will work. I pray for guidance and peace all the time. I'm getting depressed. What should I do? All right, well, this is what you should do first of all. You should realize that as you are thinking of what God wants in this relationship and you're praying to him and asking him for peace and guidance, you start off by realizing the Bible doesn't mention falling in love. And it doesn't mention falling out of love either. So what we need to do is put that on one side for a start. And we need to look at what the Bible does say about love. And it says two things. First of all, it says that love is the fruit of the Spirit. In other words, when we come to a relationship with God through Christ, Christ died for us that our sins might be forgiven and rose again in order that in the person of the Holy Spirit, he might enter our lives in order to empower us for newness of life. And so the, the picture that the Bible uses is of the, the Holy Spirit is like the life of a tree that demonstrates itself in the fruit that comes out through the branches. And with the fruit is love. It is something that is the result of the work of the indwelling spirit. It is a spiritual issue. The second thing the Bible says about love is this. First of all, that it is the fruit of the Spirit. And secondly, it is something that we are commanded to do. Now, the problem is this. If we focus on the command and don't understand the idea of the life, the indwelling life of the Spirit, we will find that we come short all the time. But by the same token, if we focus on the Spirit, but do not accept the responsibility of being obedient in the power of the Spirit, we will find we fail too. It's not a matter of one at the expense of the other, it's a matter of both. So I'm not talking about falling in love or falling out of love. I'm talking about life in the Spirit that resolves itself in a life of obedience. So here I am in, in this situation in a difficult marriage. And my, my spouse has been doing things that I don't want them to do or is not doing the things I want them to do. And I'm getting frustrated by this and I don't like them very much and I've decided I don't love them anymore, all right? Put that all on one side and say to yourself, you know, God by his spirit indwells me in order to empower me to live a life of obedience. And obedience says, I am required by God in the power of the spirit to love this person that I don't even like very much right now. Incidentally, if that seems ridiculous, let me remind you, that the Bible says God so loved the world that he gave his only son. You say, yeah, I know he said that. What he didn't say is God liked the world such a lot that he gave his only son. In actual fact, he disliked it intensely and chose to love what he disliked intensely. Here's a decision for you. Not to say, well, I've fallen out of my love, uh, out of love with the Lord, therefore I want to get out of this situation Here's the decision you make. God has called me in the power of the Holy Spirit in obedience to reach out in love 
to my spouse. That is an entirely different way of looking at it. You say, what does it look like? I'm glad you asked. Let me read it to you. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never ceases. That's a very different situation, isn't it, than falling out of love and leaving a relationship. And this is what the Christian is called to do. Remember, it's a matter of obedience that is only possible in the power of the indwelling spirit. Mm -hmm.